Hello, Indiana Jones. <laughs> Good morning, Jim. Wow. What, what exotic country have you flown well, in from? I just wanted to say Happy Mother's Day. Well, thank you, Indiana. Happy thank Mother's you. Day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, I, I realize that you're here. You're going to share with us a little bit about how to defeat our bullies, right? Yes. Well, I was supposed to be joined by someone this morning, but it appears that he's absent, of course. They've asked me this morning to talk to you about how I've learned to stand up to bullies. Yeah. When I was a boy, I was often ridiculed by kids who grew up in a house with fathers that were actually home. But I learned over the years how to stand up for myself with the guidance and direction from the sweetest, smartest, most wonderful woman who ever lived. That woman was my mother. Sorry I'm late. Yes, you I'm must be Jack Sparrow. Must I? Well, I do believe that there should be a captain in there somewhere. Yes, captain. Why are you late? Well, you see, well, I had a very important appointment with a, a dear friend of mine I simply could not miss. What friend? Oh, well, you don't look like you know him. But you may be familiar with his work. I call him Rum. You do look familiar. Have I threatened you before? No. I'm sure I'd remember a face like that. Ouch. So, am I here to talk about confronting bullies or demonstrate how to dispatch them? No. I'm sure you'd end up much better in the end if you save that demonstration for another time. Now, you would have the reach and the distance advantage, my friend, but never underestimate the unequalizing power of treachery. All that aside, I will share with these lovely people my vast and great knowledge on dealing ruthlessly with bullies. I was just about to share some stories with them before you stumbled in that my mother told me when I was young. By all means, do go on. My mother always taught me to stand up to bullies, to stand up for myself and those less fortunate, to always, always do what is right and noble and to fight for what I believe in. Ah, we are very similar, you and I. Really? I can't imagine how. Well... I do know all those words you just used. <laughs> Have you ever done anything for someone other than yourself? I'll get back to you on that one. But I do have one small bit of wisdom that I like to share with these fine-looking people. Wisdom, I'm sure. Go ahead. Sometimes, you must fight to run away. That's it? <laughs> That's your pearl? No, my pearl's at the dock. Look, all I'm saying is that sometimes it's better to flee and live than to stay and fight. Unless, of course, you must stay and fight to leave and to not... to not... Um, and so on. Savvy? And that's the advice your mother gave you? No, my father. Did your mother ever have anything to say about your choices in life? Well, let me ask her, shall I? She says, no matter what, always keep your head. <laughs> I find that a bit ironic, don't you? Yeah, just a bit. 